This video presents how Apollo 181 can display simple messages on its LED displays. Seven segment displays are widely used in many electronic applications and machines in order to show numerical codes in an inexpensive way. What is less known and uncommon is that also words and short phrases can be easily displayed by any seven segment display. The number of different symbols, which Apollo 181 can't form, is 32, enough to represent the numbers from 0 to 9 and all the 26 letters of the alphabet. Some displayed characters don't look like the real ones and are almost illegible. The most difficult letters to be recreated by a seven-segment display are the K, M, T, V, W, and X. This because the diagonal and vertical middle segments are missing. Five pairs of characters can be displayed by lighting the segments in the same manner. The letter S can be represented with the number 5. The letter O can be represented with the number 0. The letter Z can be represented with the number 2. The letter Q can be represented with the number 9 and letters H and X are displayed in the same manner. In Apollo 181, a unique integrated circuit has been programmed to decode and generate those numbers and letters. This chip is the TTL Bipolar 74188 that is a fuse read-only memory programmable by the user, which is 32 words of 8-bit each. Seven of the eight outputs are used to turn on the segments according to the graphic pattern of the 32 symbols. Each output of the PROM can sync enough current to glow the LEDs of a common anode display. Similar to the famous 7447 display decoder driver, the PROM 74188 has open collector outputs and can simply be connected in parallel with it. When the enable input is set to logic 1, the PROM will be deactivated and the display will be turned off. Here are some examples of simple phrases displayed by Apollo 181. The program is located in 256 byte of RAM memory and runs at 3 MHz. It contains the necessary routines to generate the delay, to scroll the letters, and display the message which is made of up to 20 characters. Now, have you been able to read the displayed texts and understand each of them?